Hey guys, Cool Brick here with the next update on my Diagon Alley custom mock. And um, for a couple of reasons, I don't have the rest of the mock up here. I just have the next building that I have assembled um, for two reasons. One is that um, I had three buildings on one side of it and then, um, and I would always show the face of those buildings, but this building is gonna go on the other side. So I don't have a good way of showing you the, the face because the other buildings will be blocking it. And the other reason is uh, it's too risky to try and move everything every single time. Even when I take off the buildings and bring the huge base and then bring each building individually to my studio, it's just, it's nerve wracking and it's, it's a pain in the butt to bring all that heavy stuff here. So I just left it um, in my, uh, my Lego area. And at the end of this video, I'll just do a quick clip showing what this looks like in the, uh, on, the, on the base with the other buildings and um, just show uh, just, uh, any other little things that I might have changed to the base. But anyway, apart from that, this is, um, I don't remember the name, but it was some food shop and I just kind of turned it into my own bakery thing. So straying a little bit from the actual storyline here, this is not uh, super specific to Harry Potter. And as you can tell, it's actually a little bit too modern looking, um, which is kind of a problem I had, but when I started building it, I really just want to stick with this huge um, uh, many windowed front. Um, and I kind of just had to work with what I did and I really didn't want to change it. And I also didn't want to put it in my city and I did want to use it for the Diagon Alley. So even though it's a little bit too modern looking, I said, what the heck? And so this is just going to be the bakery place in Diagon Alley. Um, so, so you can actually get some perspective here. These, um, these elements here are actually angled. So you get this really nice front fascia where everything goes up, then it goes in and then it goes back up again. And I just turn these uh, large, uh, whatever they're one by four by six frames or one by four by five. I think it's one by four by six frames on their sides. Then I just use some hinge plates to angle everything. And then it's attached in two spots here and here um, with just some modified bricks. So um, that's how I did that. And you can see I use bright light yellow and black. And uh, just got a little sign here. Um, and you can just see some of the displays in here. There are lots of treats and we'll get to that. I'll turn it around as you can see it's open in the back and all those things can be pulled out so you can get a better look at those. Um, on the sides here, just uh, had some purple accents on the roof and on the sides here. And that pretty much is identical on the other side. And um, here's the back and I'll just remove the roof and uh, there we go. The roof I assembled, um, I, I wanted it to be different from most of the roofs I do. Usually they're pretty boring. Um, so what I actually ended up doing was taking one by six by five panel pieces in bright light yellow and just putting some black tile and um, plates. And then I just inserted them onto, or I just plopped them right on top of this big roof on top of the plates I used for the roof. And then I surrounded it with bricks just kind of covered it up a little bit on the front so they don't fall out. Um, it actually looks pretty pretty nice. And then these just represent lots and lots of lights. So as for the interior, we will turn the camera down and get a good look at what's in here. And there's lots of stuff to look at. So as you can see, I tiled the floor um, with light bluish gray and tan tiles. Um, I guess we can first take a look at the counter which has a cash register and a nice glass countertop and just some more counter space. That just sits right on here. And there are also some jumpers down here and some studded plates over here just for minifigs to be able to stand. Um, then you've got this table, which hopefully I can take out without too much commotion. Come on. And the pie fell off. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Ah, such a pain, that table. And this is very simple, just hinge plates, uh, log profile bricks, 
and dark orange wedge plates. Just make a simple table that I want to put up against the window and hold these cream pies. So that just sits right in there. And um, as you can see, it's kind of, it's pretty flimsy, this, this big window here. So I do need to be gentle with it. Um, then over here, we have some pastries on a stand, um, some cookies and cupcakes. If it'll focus. Come on. Don't focus on the background. There we go. Um, so yep, just little pastries. In, the, in case you guys are wondering how I did this, this is just done using these half pins and one of these uh, modified round tiles. Those just fit right into the um, inner tubes. And so you get this nice um, double concave uh, thing, display sort of thing. And uh, I don't know, I thought it looked pretty cool. So that just goes right there. Then over here on the left side, we have um, a soft serve dispenser. And you can see I have simulated many, many cones and just the levers for pulling down or pulling up, I guess, um, to uh, have the soft serve pour out into your cones. So I didn't really have any um, Harry Potter specific uh, candy and food and stuff. I think this was actually originally supposed to be, oh, you know, I forgot the name again, but it was like a strange kind of a candy shop. They had all those things, chocolate frogs and the Bernie and Bots all flavored jelly beans and those things. But like, I just, I don't, I don't have that kind of stuff. You can't really say, oh, this is a specific Harry Potter food and this and that. So I just, I just threw together a bakery just cause. Um, so hopefully uh, diehard Harry Potter fans are not gonna be angry with this video and be like, sacrilege, you can't just throw a bakery into Diagon Alley. It doesn't work like that. One cannot simply put bakery things in Harry Potter. <laughs> and then over here we have the cooler and this just goes in the corner. We've got some popsicles. Of course these open up and over here just a water bottle. And this just attaches here in snot fashion. There we go. Oops. And uh, I don't remember if I mentioned, just got some lights on here and some colorful stuff at the door, just cause. And I think that's it for this building. So I will quickly bring this um, down to my, uh, to the display or not the display, but just the uh, the actual uh, diorama of Diagon Alley, and I'll just show you guys what this looks like with the other buildings. All right, um, first I'm gonna apologize for the bad lighting. Didn't bring my uh, normal light sources um, that make everything look nice and bright and white. Um, just have some incandescent lighting in here, so everything's all yellow looking. Um, anyway, uh, as you can see, I put the bakery with other stuff. And again, it does look kind of modern, especially with the color. It's very um, abstract and different compared to these uh, neutral colors. And then you just have bright light yellow with purple. Um, but it's okay because I think the building we put here will be brown or something like that. So I think it'll look okay once once everything's all all set. And uh, I've been working on the tiling. The tiling is almost finished. And I don't remember if I showed this to you guys last time. So I'm just gonna quickly show it. It is just a night bus bus stop. Um, so it's just a bus stop for the night bus in this alleyway. Don't remember if I showed that last time. In my last update, I don't know if I had it built already, but uh, anyway. And as you can see, similar to the uh, Quidditch shop, there is a tilt backwards on the bakery. And I just use these hinge elements down here. Um, yep, you can just see the general status of this thing. So it's really been coming along nicely.
And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this project as much as I am. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.